everyone, and welcome to another episode of Free to Play Weekly, your show about free to play online games. News of the Week. In this week's news, the Born to Fire closed beta registration has started. This upcoming free-to-play MMOFPS from Area Games lets you choose from one of five classes, each with their own unique backstory, tactics, and customizable arsenal of weapons. Choose from the Duelist, Heavy Hitter, Rifleman, Warden, or Ranger, and prepare to battle the world for total domination. Want to play as a secret agent with a license to kill? How about a Take No Prisoners badass? Go for it, it's all up to you. Be sure to check out the trailer to see Jiggly Physics in action. You'll see what I mean. Need a break from some other superhero games? Want to check out something different but still in your comfort zone? This past week, we finally got our first peek at Gazillion Entertainment's upcoming free-to-play MMORPG, Marvel Heroes. Check out the trailer posted on MMOBomb.com and get ready to pull from over 8,000 heroes and villains in the Marvel Universe to create the ultimate hero. Costumes, history, abilities, and more can be slapped together to form the newest Marvel hero. Thousands of items also wait to be discovered and added to your hero palette. I always struggle with naming my hero, so be sure to give me some suggestions in the comments below. Remember the upcoming title, Hedone? Well, if not, that's okay, because Sony Online Entertainment has changed the name to Bullet Run anyway. Bullet Run is a free-to-play team-based FPS developed by Akani that challenges players to an ultimate battle to the death. Fans of the all-time classic game Smash TV will enjoy the premise of this game as all players are contestants on an ultimate reality TV game show where deadly talents could equal high fame. The game should release later this summer. Get ready to get your multiplayer brawl on. Live combat. Real people. Bullet run. Fame at any cost. Game Globe gameplay teaser revealed. Okay, admittedly the teaser trailer for Game Glow didn't provide much information. The 30 second trailer only showed off a few seconds of actual gameplay. However, Square Enix and Big Point have more in store with their upcoming full length trailer. Fans who want big adventure and community driven content will want to keep their eye on this project as more and more is revealed. So 2013 is shaping up to be a pretty big year for gamers. Not to take anything away from 2012, but a quick look at the E3 lineup for this year's show is pretty impressive. As part of that, Game Mania Digital Entertainment has finally announced Core Blaze, the VIP experience. The game will finally be showcased on American soil for the first time in this exclusive press event on June 7th. Core Blaze ditches traditional player builds by having your character's role defined by the weapons they equip, how they interact with the open world environment, and how dynamic in-game content plays out. This MMO promises to be highly customizable as a character can swap roles simply by changing weapons. Heroes in general storms into closed beta. The time to enlist is now. Independent studio Rito Moto proudly announces the launch of the official closed beta for Heroes and Generals, the upcoming massively multiplayer shooter that features explosive online battles between Axis and allied forces in a persistent war for European domination. Players are transported from the comfort of their browsers to authentic World War II battlefields, where they fight alongside thousands of gamers for persistent progression and military supremacy. Wargaming.net announced that the closed beta testing stage for the company's highly anticipated flight combat MMO, World of Warplanes, will take off on May 31st this year. World of Warplanes will allow players to build full-scale careers as virtual pilots, offering machines from several key eras, from 1930s biplanes to the Korean War jet fighters that led the way to modern air forces. Suit up, strap in, and start taking others down. Just don't forget where your eject button is, just in case. And because we love you guys, MMOBomb.com and Free to Play Weekly have some more sweet giveaways to offer. We have free in-game items for Spirit Tales and Lineage 2. To get your keys, you just need to go to MMOBomb.com slash giveaway. Video of the week. Yeah, I, I can't tell you the last time I told like someone, I was like, dude, did you play the new WoW? Uh, really? Dude, the story? 
You, you see, gotta play oh, the but see, that is a great point. That <laughs> is a great point. When you play a PlayStation 3 game, the first thing you tell somebody is, oh man, you gotta check this game out. So you got some great combat, man, this story is crazy. Really? Oh man, I gotta check that out. Oh, you gotta play this game, Selfies. You really gotta play this game. Storyline's good, and then the ending, poof, mind blown. Really? Oh man, I can't wait to check that out. Oh guys, 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 you gotta check out Alads. It's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's a great MMO. And it's free to play. Oh, okay, well I'll check that out. You don't mention story, come on! <laughs> don't you th think that if it had a good story, you would mention that? Game of the Week. And the Game of the Week is S4 League. S4 League is a great free MMO game that perfectly blends non-stop shooter action with inspired anime visuals. It's a stylish third-person shooter with a fantastic and colorful anime attitude that's both terrific to look at and play. The Neo Tokyo anime style features great poses and elegance in actions such as running, jumping, shooting, and even flying in the detailed and resourceful maps. Best of all, the graphics aren't very hardware consuming, so most computers will be able to run this awesome shooter. Well, that's all for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. And also, subscribe to us on iTunes and review the show. And until next week, go to MMOBomb.com for more free-to-play action.